elephants, one of the most intelligent animals on earth. The word elephant means power and strength. It refers to both the body and the mind. These gentle giants are scattered throughout Africa, South Asia and Southeast Asia. Currently, there are three recognized species. African bush elephant, African forest elephant and the one you are seeing, the Asian elephant. Asian elephant is smaller than its African cousins. In Sri Lanka, most of the elephants are distributed in the dry zone except for the north. Small populations are in wet zone and up country areas including the peak wilderness sanctuary. You know how big these animals are, so they need to eat a lot, a very, very lot. They spend about 17 hours each day eating. Their favorites are grasses and legumes. These can be up to 90% of their daily intake. They also eat leaves, bamboo shoots, fruits, seeds, creepers, roots, almost every part of a tree. And aquatic plants also take place in their diet, such as lotus and water lily. An adult eats more than 150 kilograms of green matter every day, since its digestive system isn't that good at extracting nutrients. They are almost entirely herbivores. Elephants need minerals and salts. To obtain them, they place earth in their mouths. Sometimes, juveniles eat dung of their elders or their own. Elephants prefer ecotones, the edges between heavy jungle and scrub, because it is easier for them to secure food and can have shade in the hotter hours of the day. They are very picky. Some plants are eaten while some are avoided. But there are at least 89 plant species that they don't avoid. They use the night time and the cool hours of the day to eat. After dark, they walk to a water source to have a cool drink of water. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The hotter hours are spended in a shady spot resting or snoozing. And there's this special part of their body which helps them to eat and drink. Their trunk. It's both their hand and nose. Tuskers, the majestic creatures of nature. Actually, these tusks are the reason they look so majestic. Other mammals also have tusks, but the elephant's tusk is different. They are elongated incisors and essentially no different from teeth, while other mammals have enlarged canine teeth as their tusks. The tusks of an elephant are both a blessing and a curse for the animal being useful for many tasks in their daily routine and the sense of true majesty is given by the tasks to rise them above other animals and the blessings. A curse because of human's greed for the ivory has caused many deaths of these magnificent animals. Elephants use their tasks for many things. Mainly, they are a formidable weapon against its predators and against other elephants in battles. Apart from them, they use their tusks for digging, stripping bark, aid for gauging, and moving things. Trained elephants are used for lifting large logs and moving them using their tusks. Also, they use tusks to attract females. Another difference between African and Asian elephant is their tusks. Both the male and female African elephants have tusks but in Asia, only the males have them. Though some females have short ones, but actually they aren't called tusks. They are tusks which have no pulp inside. One third of the tusk is hidden and embedded deep in its head. 
This one third of the tusk is pulp cavity made up of tissue, blood, and nerves. The other part of the tusk, which is visible for the outside, is made of dentine with an outer layer of enamel. When they have no special thing going on inside its head, the movements are so slow, almost like a sloth. They walk slowly, eat slowly, do everything slowly. Sometimes it's so boring to watch. But if you look closer and sharper, you will catch many interesting things. But remember, they are very calm, innocent and intelligent animals. They only get aggressive when they feel a danger. This large tusker is eating using his large log-like trunk. He digs and pull out grass from the soil and put it in his mouth. But when they are aggressive, all of a sudden they become speed machines. You won't be able to outrun an elephant. Trumpeting like a beast, it will run to the enemy very confidently. Trumpet is a sound they make to signal excitement, aggression and distress. Asian elephants live in small groups led by an elder female. These small discrete family groups can include up to 25 closely related members consisting of adult females and their sub-adult and juvenile offspring of both sexes. Sri Lankan elephants don't have serious predators. Their biggest threat is humans. A leopard could kill a baby elephant, but to do so, the calf must be alone. Calves are very playful and curious about their surroundings. So the elder ones keep them closer, always protecting and keeping an eye on them. In Sri Lanka, family groups are loosely physically associated. Mothers and one or two generations of youngsters stick closer. Sometimes, also, other female relatives with babies stay close by. Sri Lankan elephants breed throughout the year. 
gestation period is 22 months. They normally give birth to one baby every five years. A newborn calf can weigh up to 100 kilograms. These beautiful and magnificent creatures are one of the greatest creations of nature. They are a magnet of attracting tourists. In other words, attracting funds that helps protect wilderness areas. Elephants are a keystone species. They play a huge role in maintaining the biodiversity of the ecosystems. So actually, they protect and maintain the forests. If their habitats will be protected, the fight between humans and elephants can be stopped. These amazing animals need a bright future. A future that they can live in peace. Understand the importance of these magnificent giants. A single life worth a lot.